What's up guys, it's AMP. Welcome back to another pencil review in your subscription box. And today, we're gonna be reviewing the uh, USA Gold. Uh, I think it says Anti-Microbial Premium Wood Pencils. Um, that are, have a black coating. Made in the USA. Ooh. Sorry if that last bit <laughs> kinda sounded cringy, but I don't know. I kinda wanted to make a little funny moment there. I don't know. These, these videos aren't usually that humorous, you know, so, I don't know. Anyway, that was stupid, but anyway. So, uh, these are the pencils. I bought these a while back, um, when they first started putting school supplies out at Target. Um, a lot of when you, if you want to find uh, a different set of pencils that you've never seen before, I always, always recommend checking the school supply section because they have pencils that you don't usually see. Um, and I have never seen these until now. They actually had another version at Staples that had the same name. Um, but I did, decided not to pick it up. But I picked these up because I love the black lacquer. Um, I, I feel like they kind of juke me, though, because it, it shows a black eraser, but these have pink erasers. But still really cool. This is a 24-pack, so it was around 4 bucks, which for 24 that's not bad. Um, you know, like t uh, $2 per... 12 so pretty cool um these pencils have tended to be pretty good for me um i have i haven't done a review on the usa goal but i have tried them before um and they have been pretty good um probably a step a slight step up from the ticonderoga um probably a uh, probably a step up from the ticonderoga and maybe a slight step up from the murado uh, murado classic uh, but yep these are made in the usa i think think so. Uh, yeah. These are made by the, um, the, uh, can't really tell. U.S., I think it's just USA Gold. I originally thought it was maybe a company called Write Dudes, because I remember seeing that. But, um, yep, so a lot of, a lot of writing on here. Uh, 24 HB pencils, pre-sharpened, um, anti-micro protection, uh, I don't know exactly what that means. Um, yep, and then it just says that pretty much the whole thing. Oh yeah, uh, properties that will inhibit the spread of germs. I'm assuming that may maybe they made these for uh, the pandemic. I don't know. Um, Pre-sharpened. So yep, and those are what the pencils look like. Um, and then information. And you know, just information about the pencils. You know, their info, their info of socials and stuff. All right, well, that's cool. Let's get into the let's get into the package. I'm gonna try to do this careful so I don't um. I know I can, don't even really have to rip into the package. Can I just pull one out? I can just pull one out right here. There, I can just pull one out right, right here. Yeah, see, <laughs> I don't even have to open the package. All right, wow, it's a very light pencil. I'll tell you that. Um, very very light. Um. Let's compare it to, uh, let's compare it to, um, um, mm, let's compare it to a Ticonderoga. Like, even, well, I guess, let's compare it to a, a Palomino HB. This one is super, super light, um, compared to this. Super, super light. Um, so probably one of the lightest pencils I've, you know, done. Which is not necessarily good. Uh, but it's good for me because I like to, I like to write fast and uh, I unfortunately though I have a heavy hand so I'm hoping these don't break and they also almost seem a little thinner they almost seem like thinner than yeah they they're not as thick as the normal HB that I've seen I don't know if you compare it to the Tombow if you can get a The, the Tombow is a thicker, has a thicker body. This one's very thin and very light, which could pose a problem. Uh, it could. I don't know what uh, implications that might have on, you know, students using these pencils. But let's give them a test and see. Actually, you know what? I mean, I don't really need to show you about the pencil body, except for the Feral. USA Gold has the, I guess, traditional to their product, the, the flagship blue band on those. Let's sharpen this bad boy up. Uh, oh shoot. I was gonna test it with a factory point. Oh well. 
Well, we can do that in another video, but yeah, uh, chirping's all right. Um, a little bit more. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's all right. Um, let's dump this. Yep, it's it's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, pretty good point there. On the uh, pencil, so let's uh, let's kind of take a look at the point and see what kind of point point uh, lead centering we have here. Uh, obviously, this is a long point because I'm using my Mitsubishi. Um, not great centered lead, I'll tell you that right now. Not great, and uh, a decently centered when you look at this area, but um the wood I, I guess it's more the wood is not centered very well considering you know the lead is centered in the pencil in the middle very well but the wood doesn't sharpen perfectly um but and i think you know i feel like you know i feel like this is the type of pencil like you know it comes kind of i, uh, I guess it's kind of like a bulk package so there's probably at least one or two in here that don't have very great lead centering uh, if you you know if you hold it like this and look at the look at the middle, so let's uh, let's stop jib jabbering and uh, take a take a right with this. Uh, let's compare it to uh, you know what to be interesting. I have another USA Gold here, the original, and let's compare that to this one and see what see. Uh, um, you know what? Let's go a little step further and compare it to another awesome one, very reliable pencil, the Cedar Point. Let's compare these. Two, three pencils made in America. Let's see. To make it fair, we'll do that. Um, let's let's start with the. Uh, let's start with. Let's actually start with this one. I usually start with a baseline of one that I like, but let's start with this one this time. Well, it's pretty scratchy. Not that dark. It does lay down very nice. It does lay down very nicely. Um, you don't have to put much pressure to get lead on there. Uh, the plumber tension is not great either. Um, um, so, eh, it's a it's little below average, I would consider, but it's okay. We'll test out the, we'll test out this one. We'll test out and see if the older model is any different. A little smoother. Not, not as scratchy. I don't know if you guys can hear but it's definitely not as scratchy as the, uh, I mean, this is a cheap pencil, so of course it will be a little bit scratchy, but not as much. All right, so far this one's winning, uh, which I pretty much know who's going to be the final winner here, the Cedar Point, but that's not the test that we're doing. We're trying to, we're reviewing this and seeing if it is uh, a great pencil, seeing if it is the best pencil in the world, which I think it's not but we gotta test them all right we gotta test as many as we can oh yeah i gotta gotta write here um i'm gonna write my way I, it's upside down for you guys but i'm just i'm just gonna say what i'm doing um black usa i'm saying black usa for black usa gold and then you know Um, and then let's do the uh, let's do the cedar point, which is a very very reliable pencil. Notice it's already smoother, and it is clearly clearly darker. <laughs> I mean, there's no competition. Smoother, darker. That one wins. If we're doing a pencil comparison, this one would win, but that's not what we're trying to test here. So, yep, there's the, the black USA Gold, the yellow USA Gold, and the Cedar Point. The Cedar Point is the darkest, but again, I'll stop talking about that because that's not what we're comparing here. Um, let's see if the eraser has improved since the last USA model. Let's, uh, let's write some, let's write some... And let's 
do one with this one. Gotta make sure I'm not confusing stuff here. All right, so let's let's compare the eraser on this one. Oh, this one's this one's hard because it. I guess it's not really a fair test. Eh, I'll just abandon that. This eraser's kind of hard because this pencil's kind of old. Not you know not vintage or anything. Just you know, I've had it for a while. All right, so that's not really a fair test. Let's just do a smudge. It does smudge quite a bit, as expected. Um, still a soft pencil. Um, uh, considering the point wears down quite quickly. Um, so let's uh, let's let's write some you know quick brown fox. Let's just do let's you know let's go back to basics again and go back to the. Uh, the uh, regular cedar point. Let's compare. Eh, you know, sorry. Let's actually I change my mind. Let's go back to the original cedar point and see if the writing quality has changed. Um, you know, in terms of writing words and stuff. So this is the original USA Gold that I'm using. Okay, and then the black USA Gold. Yeah, it's not that great. <laughs> um, let's just test the eraser on this thing. Let's test the eraser. Erases decently, but it's not it's not that great um, of a pencil. Um, it's probably a little below average, I would even say. Um, it does smudge quite a bit. The eraser oh works okay. There's a lot of scratchiness though. The point uh, the, the point the retention isn't great. It isn't centered very well. Um, and it it doesn't write as dark as the original uh, USA Gold. So I don't know. It's not that great um, in my opinion. But I have 24 of them, so I got to use them. Um, but still, it's not bad, it's not, you know, it's not horrible, and it, it probably uh, is good enough to go in my pencil jar. Um, only really, really bad ones I don't. Um, this one is okay. You know, it's not horrible. Ones that I think are horrible I don't put in there, but this one is not bad. But I'm, not a I'm obviously not a professional in doing this. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, uh, and yeah, just remember to like, comment, and subscribe. A lot of my videos, the comments have been turned off, so if you guys, if it's allowing you guys to comment, uh, please comment. Um, and I'm nearly at 100 subscribers, I'm at 98 currently. I just need two more to get to 100, so please, guys, if you really, if you're watching to this point, and you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. Um, it means a lot to me, and I pro I'm gonna probably gonna do a hundred a hundred subscriber giveaway um, on that on um, when I once I hit a hundred subscribers. So um, yeah, stay tuned. Um, and it, I don't know, I just never thought I would get to triple digit subscribers. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and yeah, enough said. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.